The 2020 show season is about to start 11 weeks after originally planned. It will start in Murfreesboro, Tennessee on May 30th at the Thor Sports Arena. Frankie Joe Bradley will judge the morning classes and Jeanette Balkum will judge the evening classes. That show will be followed by the Spring Jubilee held in Columbia on the 4th, 5th, and 6th of June. In the past, our industry has been under attack by different groups. The USDA would go after our inspection process, which I believe was guided by people from the Humane Society of the United States. As we start this show season, remember that during the off season, a committee was formed to create a more effective way of objectively inspecting our horses. In the past, that has not been done. This committee called in an expert. Dr. Paul Strongberg was invited to come in to speak with this committee. Dr. Strongberg is an expert pathologist, and remember, he was invited to speak because of his knowledge and experience. He is not one of the equine veterinarians that currently services our horse in this industry. The panel is made up of several veterinarians. Two of those veterinarians are Dr. Bart Sutherland and Dr. Tracy Turner, who were very involved in the multiple violations found in our horse industry. Dr. Bart Sutherland and Tracy Turner found numerous questionable violations, scar rule, too many nails in a pad. Dr. Strongberg opened his comments with very pointed criticism of the USDA's current methods of detecting soaring in a Tennessee walking horse. Strongberg in his documentation to the committee summarized it this way. I could say that overall the USDA is doing very poor science and medicine in the enforcement of the HPA. Their inspection methods are entirely subjective and the inspectors are highly biased to think everything abnormal is equals evidence of a scar tissue or inflammation that must mean soaring. If you remember, Dr. Strongberg was part of a group of veterinarians that took 136 biopsies from horses cited for scar rule at the Tennessee Walking Horse Competition. Strongberg, along with another independent pathologist, found that all 136 were false positives. We have attempted to show through biopsy that these posterior pattern changes are not soaring injury. USDA will eventually have to accept this and look elsewhere. This high level of subjectivity and lack of reliance on science and objective testing methods is the reason that the committee was formed. One point of interest, those 136 false violations that our trainers and owners were accused of not only cost our trainer time and fines, but the value of the horse, these are things that can never come back. And now we know that out of 136 violations, they were not true. They were given by USDA inspectors under the guidance of Chester Gibson and Rachel Cesar, which everybody knew had an agenda of destroying this industry. Dr. Strongberg's words back up what we have said for years that the care that we give this horse, no trainer is going to bring up for our inspection a horse that he believes may be called out. In his heart, he knows he has taken care of his horse and he is bringing up a compliant horse for our inspection. These are things we need to remember this year. And our trainers, as hard as they work, I'm sure this year will bring up the same compliant horse they have in the past. Let's all look forward to the 2020 show season and continue to ride our horse and have a great time. God bless and good luck this show season.